Hello guys, thanks for watching. Adrian here from Epsid. So in this video I will use Django Software Dashboard, an open source uh, seed project to generate uh, secure APIs on top of uh, DRF, uh, the, the popular uh, <coughs> REST framework from uh, for Django. So uh, the project is open source. Um, the generator uh, incorporated in this uh, seed project is uh, saved on GitHub under the MIT license. So feel free to use the code. Feel free to <coughs> improve it and uh, use it in uh, use it in your uh, in your projects. Uh, let's uh, take a look at the at the project and uh, uh, demonstrate how the uh, how this project is able to generate APIs without uh, coding much. So basically you need to uh, download the product here, open up the source code. Once you have the source code, uh, there are two files that are re related to this uh, uh, to this feature in the um, uh, app directory there is a models file and at the end you you have the the model definition managed by the um, by the api generator and also in the core settings at the end you can find um, api generator section where uh, we inform the generator to take into account the the book model defined in the model file so there is nothing else uh, I will uh, start the, the project using Docker and uh, interact with the API. So it's important to know that the get requests are are uh, can be accessed publicly without any authorization or authentication. But for the mutating requests like uh, create, delete, or update, uh, we need to to have a registered user and um, based on uh, uh, his credentials we need to take um, uh, a token and uh, using that token in the request header we can interact yeah. with the API and create new uh, new items update or, or delete okay so at this point uh, the application is started under docker we can uh, go here and uh, access the UI okay so the project uh, also is also provided with uh, with uh, postman collection for uh, docker which use the the same uh, port default port uh, provided in the in the project you just need to import it and uh, you have here the interface defined for um, for books so uh, there's nothing to configure Further at this point, and um, we just need to, we should be able to access the the DRF and the play with the API. Okay, this is super super nice. So uh, I will uh, create a new user using the application. Okay, here, sign up. Once the user is created, we can uh, use Postman to uh, get a token from the backend and use that token to uh, create, update, or delete uh, items. Here we have uh, an item. In order to create a new item, I will uh, save the token here. So the first book is uh, named Harry Potter. I will send a request and the record is created. Get to the books. If we refresh the, if we send again the request in Postman, we have here the uh, the new item. Let's uh, go back to the to the application and uh, authenticate because the project comes with a default API view here, which is prefigured for um, uh, for books model. So we have here items. We we are able also to uh, add new books okay so now the um, we 
EPA should return to, to items. Uh, it's important to note that this component uh, communicates with the API through the interface and is not uh, processed server side. So uh, it um, might be a useful sample to reuse the code provided here in order to uh, add new features. So basically, if you want to add new, uh, I don't know, new uh, models handled by the API, you have a, a sample that uh, manages the, the API in the, in the view. Let's uh, create, let's generate uh, a, new, a new API node using uh, cities model. So basically, it's it's a new it's a new model. It's a new um, node uh, managed by the API. Also, I multiply here the the rule and the configuration just to inform the API generator to take into account also the cities model. And uh, I will uh, rerun the Docker setup that uh, will. Uh, install again all the modules and uh, do all the stuff and also generate the API on top of cities model. If we look at the um, Docker log, uh, at some point we will see after the migration and the make migration migrate step, we will see the um, API generator that uh, generate the code. Uh, basically the generate code lives in the API folder here and the uh, core API generator is uh, lives in the root of the project. Okay, so at this point, uh, we should have also cities. Okay, so we can see here in the DRF that the cities, uh, the new node is, is exposed. And uh, let's create again the the user, so copy paste the page, the, the password here. Okay. Sign up. Now the account is, is created. Uh, we can uh, go to the to Postman and get the, the token based on his credentials. I will uh, multiply this. Uh, I will duplicate this uh, this request for uh, for cities. Cities and here I will update the of cities and send a request there is no there are no cities at this point and also I will uh, duplicate the create book um, create a city cities okay and uh, I will uh, I will use the header here to uh, create successfully a new a new city and the uh, record created but uh, I was using the city Harry Potter okay I will put here Paris which is amazing now if we go to the and get all the cities we should have uh, Harry Potter in Paris let's update this uh, record because there is no such city as Harry Potter so um, update the city, duplicate city, cities and body here. I will put London. Okay, and in the headers I will save the token. Cool. So record is updated. If we go to and um, uh, get all cities and uh, interrogate the, the UI, we will see that um, we have two items. So guys, uh, this is a tool. Uh, the tool will be um, improved with with more features. So uh, is open source. Feel free to use it. 
in case something is missing uh, feel free to chat with us uh, let us know what you think we are 24/7 uh, on discord and uh, we are answering to all the, all the emails uh, also the discord community we we have more than 1000 members feel free to chat with us uh, and uh, tell us what you think thanks for uh, for watching Adrian here from Mapsid and as always I wish you all a super super day bye guys